the two things that I see six figure coaches really, really screw up on in their journey scaling to seven figures. What's up, Seven Figure CEO family? Andrew Cruzy here, and I want to talk about real quick the two things that I see six figure coaches really, really screw up on in their journey scaling to seven figures, which is number one, building a team, and number two, building out a higher ticket back end program to retain clients. Now, when I was starting out, I was selling Authority Accelerator, and at the time, it was a $5,000 program, and it got great results, and we were crushing it, but I didn't have something for my clients to ascend it to like their next step or something for them to re-enroll, and I left so much fucking money on the table and impact for those clients, and I see the same thing happening with so many coaches out there having one offer that is a high ticket offer, but after somebody's done with the program, they don't have something to help uh, their clients stay around and continually enroll and stay with them for another six months, 12 months, or two years like some of our clients have done. So that is so freaking crucial in your coaching journey to have that back end program. But you can't have that back end program if you're not building out a team at the same time, it's going to be way, way, way too much for you. And what I see a lot of people do is get to that six figure mark or that multiple six figure mark, and they just want to save that sweet, sweet profit and not invest into their team or their skills of building a team. And they can't scale from there. Scaling from six to seven figures is about building that team and doing it in the right way with the right strategy and hiring the people at the right time. So I want to talk about that a little bit. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down below uh, and I'll answer any and all of them. Um, but also we're doing a master class tomorrow uh, on our 12 systems that create a seven figure CEO. And we also have a section inside of the masterclass where we will be talking about organic marketing and the content pieces you need to post regularly uh, inside of your organic content to scale past seven figures organically. So if you wanna be a part of that, hashtag masterclass down below, we'll shoot you over a link. It's only 97 bucks, it's gonna go up to 297, but for the live masterclass, uh, it's only 97 bucks, so it should be a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, drop them down below. And we actually got a few ticket sales as I look onto my phone. I'm going to pull you guys up here. All right, all right, all right. Let me know where you're at in your coaching business. Um, what offers do you currently provide and what are the price points of those offers? What do you do for money? Nick, good to see you here. Dano, good to see you. James, good to see you, brother. Awesome. <laughs> the guitar is great. I got a Taylor guitar and I've been learning and learned the first few chords. So it's uh, it's pretty cool to just wind down and play guitar. So I'm enjoying it. But feel free to drop any questions down below on that stuff. I'm here for more of a Q&A than anything else. So, oh. so when I, one question that you'll probably ask is, how do you launch that type of high ticket offer if you don't have it already? Um, so I launched my first high ticket offer. It was multiple five figure offer. It was called Authority Accelerator Elite at the time. It turned into seven figure CEO but I knew I just needed to talk to the people that were in my core offer that were more likely to convert. So we ended up setting up an in-person mastermind and we had 12 people there and we had four people join our multiple five figure offer the first time that we offered it. And when you're launching that higher ticket offer, that MRR offer, like we call it um, for 
like whatever it is, six months or 12 months, we recommend it to be either six months or 12 months. Um, it's best to get a handful of people in initially. Don't try to blow it out of the water and get 20, 30 people in. It's good to start with a range between three and 10 people into your higher ticket offer because it will take about two to three months to really ramp up the content in there and also get your team in there to be uh, focused on that higher ticket offer and really hit the ground running. And then your second launch, two, three months down the line, that's really when you can get a shit ton of people in there. And we did a Tribe Buyers Live and sold over a million dollars worth of, uh, of our offers at Tribe Buyers Live. Um, and that was about six months after we initially launched our uh, back end offer. Um, so it's pretty dope. So we got a question here. Dano, can you name all the key players, key players for a team? So you determine what an A player is. So what we teach is create a job scorecard to determine what an A player is for each role. And we teach how to do that inside of our seven figure CEO program. Um, but you get to determine what an A player is based on your values, based on core competencies, based on uh, what you're really looking for in that role. So it's not, this is an A player, you get to determine what an A player really is for each role in your business. Now, how I break it down is you have brains and you have hands. So your brains are your leadership team, people who are the heads of each department building out the strategy. The hands are the people that are ultimately putting the strategy into work, actually putting it into play and actually doing the things. Um, so there was, when I started out, I just had hands working and then it got to a point where I had too many hands and I needed to hire brains. So then we started to build out our leadership team where um, I hired uh, Avery uh, to be in charge of our product. I hired Brad to be in charge of our coaching. Um, I hired uh, Aaron to be in charge of our operations. I hired Jimmy to be in charge of our marketing. I heard, hired Marco to be in charge of our sales. So they're in charge of those five core departments in our business, building out the strategy to delegate to the hands, right? Um, so it comes in a logical sequence that we teach inside of a uh, seven figure CEO. You need to hire the right person at the right time or else you're gonna be throwing money away. Um, you're get, I see a lot of people hire the wrong person at the right wrong time and they're not efficient so you're just throwing money away. Even though OPW, other people's work, can be the ultimate leverage for your business, it can also be a way that you burn your business to the ground. If you're hiring the wrong person at the wrong time, they're not being efficient, they're not making money, they're draining your energy. And if that's happening, that's the easiest way to lose your business. If you hire too fast and you're hiring the wrong people, and you don't know how to lead them, you don't know how to manage them, then you'll burn it all to the ground. Now, it, inside of Seven Figure CEO, we teach you exactly the right linear path of who to hire, when to hire, looking at your financials, and how to manage, how to lead them, how to onboard them, all that good stuff. So, great question, Dano. Thank you so much, man. And sweet, good to see you guys. I haven't done an impromptu live in a while here. It's good to see you. And um, another big thing is if you're doing low ticket and you don't have these high end back end offers, you're leaving a lot of money and a lot of impact on the table. And quite honestly, you're playing small. I was playing small for the longest time, not launching my back end offer that was really gonna push me and propel me. And once I did that, I stepped up as a leader. I was like, oh shit, I've got all these people paying me so much money. I've got to step up my skills to ultimately be able to fulfill on that. And it was the best thing that I ever did for my business. The two things that have moved growth for us the most, actually three things, is launching our high-end backend offer or high-ticket backend offer. 
um, hosting events, conversion events that ultimately drive a shit ton of sales. And every time we do these conversion events, they get us to the next level in revenue and the next level in revenue. I think Tribe Buyers Live in 2019, where we went from doing it was about 90K in revenue uh, per month to 150 just right away. And then it was a regular 150 over and over and over. Um, and then the last one is the key hires. So like scaling from six to seven figures is really nailing those three things in. If you can have a high end back end offer with conversion events and building out your team um, to ultimately fulfill and uh, keep your business sustainable, that's, that's all you need to scale from six to seven figures. So hope that's making sense. If you're getting any value out of this, hit that heart button, hit that like button. The more engagement we get, the more people we can reach, the more people we can help. And I always appreciate your questions. If you have any, drop them down below. Fabian, good to see you. Gia, good to see you. Ronald, David, Joan. All right. So if you got anything out of this, it's have that back end offer so you retain your clients so that you level up as a person. And the biggest thing is like you don't want your clients to coach hop when they're hopping from one coach to the next coach to the next coach and they got results inside of your program. That's not good for them. So if they get results for your pro in your program and love working with you, make sure that you have an offer for them to continue working with you. And you need to build out a team. More than anything, six to seven figures is all about your team. So those are the big things. If you guys don't have any more questions for me, that's all good. I will hop off here. Good to see your faces. I don't see any more questions coming in. So I'm gonna hop off. I hope that helped. Hit that heart button, hit that like button. I'll talk to you guys later.